everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we've got a really cool storage array to check out today. The folks at CalDigit lent us this beautiful three-drive Thunderbolt RAID array for us to take a look at, and it is uh, quite a beast in both performance and girth. It's, uh, it's pretty big, pretty heavy, very solidly constructed. Uh, you have three drive bays on here and a, a little key set that it comes with. One locks in the, uh, each drive in the drive array, and you probably don't want to lose these keys because uh, this one in particular, the lock, I don't think is going to be easy to find. It looks like kind of like a Torx uh, thing, but I don't know if it's a standard uh, kind of screwdriver bolt, so maybe we should uh, look into that. Uh, to pop the drive out, though, you could use a paper clip or you can use the included poker here, and you just basically poke at the, uh, the drive that you want to pull out. Uh, and you can take it out like this. It's a Toshiba drive, and each of these is two terabytes, at least on this particular model, uh, two terabytes at 7,200 RPM. So they're pretty uh, decent drives. They're pretty quick, and uh, together they are really, really quick. So uh, to put the drives back in, you just kind of put it back in place here and snap that shut, and you are good to go. I did find that the top one is a little bit tougher than uh, the other ones. Uh, on the back, we'll take a look there real quick. There isn't much to see beyond a pretty big fan uh, and two Thunderbolt ports. So you can uh, plug this into your computer uh, with a cable, which it does not come with. You need to provide the cable. And then you still have room to daisy chain other Thunderbolt devices on as well. So if you only have one Thunderbolt port, uh, you don't lose a port by uh, connecting this drive array. Now this particular drive comes with uh, six terabytes on board. It's got two terabytes per drive and it comes configured formatted for Mac in RAID 0. So what it's going to be doing is streaming data across all three of those drives as a stripe. So it's getting the maximum performance and the performance is pretty crazy. So check out this, uh, this speed test here. Uh, we'll let this run for a minute. This is a disk speed test from Blackmagic Design that I like to use. Uh, it's writing a five gigabyte file. As you can see, it's writing it at 513 megabytes per second and reading at about the same speed. So this is kind of like SSD speed, uh, but with six terabytes of storage available. Now there's a catch though, because when you are using it in this mode, you're getting the maximum performance and the maximum capacity. However, if you lose any one of these drives, the whole array falls apart. So you want to make sure that you have some way to back up all this stuff you're working on, especially if it's kind of a mission critical project. But uh, having this much performance is really important. And maybe if you're shooting 4K video or doing something where you need a lot of disk bandwidth, uh, this will certainly provide that for you. But uh, you are risking your data if you do not have a backup. So make sure you do that because even things as you know, simple as unplugging the drive by accident or something could actually screw up the entire array. Now the RAID controller, or actually there is no RAID controller uh, on the device itself. It's relying upon your computer's operating system to do that. So uh, it will work with whatever your computer works with. So in the case of the Mac and Windows, it'll support RAID 0, which is the mode that we're in right now, uh, but it will also support RAID 1, which is mirroring. And uh, in that mode, what will happen is, is you're going to give up uh, the speed and the capacity because you're going to be writing redundant copies of the data across the disk. Now, in the case of this drive, because uh, we have three drives on board, uh, you could essentially uh, mirror to you know, maybe one of these to the other, or you could run these two in stripe mode and have this one be, be maybe put in a larger drive and have that be a backup uh, to the other two that are running in a scarier RAID mode. So you do have like a lot of uh, different options that you can do with it. But uh, at least as far as I, I know, none of the operating systems, whether they're Windows or Mac, maybe Linux will allow you to do it. Uh, you can't run it in RAID 5, which is where you kind of have the best of all worlds, where you could stripe across uh, all three drives, but also keep uh, some, some data protection on them as well. So if you lost the drive, you could pull one out uh, and put another one in. The drive does support hot swapping. So what you could do is run it in mirrored mode across all three drives, have one as a spare. If one of the drives goes bad, it'll automatically start writing to the spare drive. You could pull out the bad one and put in a new one uh, and keep going. Uh, of course, the hot mode won't work. Uh, if you are uh, running it in that RAID 0 mode. I'm going to take a quick break and we're going to load up disk utility so you can see how the drives appear to the operating system. Okay, we're in disk utility mode right now. And as you can see, we actually have three different drives connected here because that is how the computer sees the array. It's basically seeing uh, three separate drive controllers with three separate hard drives attached. But you'll also see that right now we have uh, this six terabyte drive array attached as well. And I, I disabled our disk speed utility. So I'm gonna kill this RAID uh, configuration right now. That's the fun thing when you have nothing on your disk, you can 
blow up stuff with no, no consequences. So uh, now that we've deleted that RAID array, uh, the Mac OS X operating system is now freeing up those drives for us. So now you can see we have three unformatted drives. And I forgot to mention that you could just treat these as three different drives. If you just wanted to have it uh, kind of running like that, you could do that. So for example, I could just go ahead right now and uh, format this drive. We'll call it drive one and it will uh, basically format that drive and we'll have access to the top drive as just its own hard drive. And then we could, of course, uh, maybe configure the bottom two in a, in a striping mode or something like that if we wanted to. So we'll let this format. And once it's done doing that, uh, we'll pop back on our disk speed test because I want you to see how fast it will work uh, with a single drive. So we'll pop this up and uh, we will select a single drive this time. So we'll go and uh, select our drive one and choose that and hit start. And as you can see, it's a little bit slower, but still really high performing. We're getting about 175, 172 megabytes per second uh, in write. And I've been seeing these read speeds once we get cooking. It can actually uh, get well above the 200 megabyte territory. So uh, it's really no slouch just with an individual drive. Uh, the cool thing is, too, is that there really isn't too much of a speed penalty for mirroring. So I'm going to stop this real quick, and we're going to pop, uh, close this out, pop back over here. We're going to go to RAID, and we're going to create... Uh, a mirrored set, and let's just call it mirrored, and if I could even spell correctly today, uh, and we'll just go ahead and drive, uh, drag drive one in here and add, well, add all three, and create a mirrored set right now, and you'll see what that looks like. Now, what'll happen is, is that we're gonna lose the data on drive one. So whenever you reconfigure RAID arrays, especially using the operating system, what you've got blows up when you change the RAID array. So just don't, you know, start doing this when you have data on there, but uh, you can see right now it's going ahead and mounting that disk, and it's uh, created a, a two terabyte mirrored RAID. And uh, you notice that it's only two terabytes, and the reason is is because it is taking the contents of each drive and mirroring it across the other two. So we're only getting uh, two terabytes total because that's all we have available to mirror. In other words, uh, you get the capacity of one drive, and it's and it's duplicated on the other two. Uh, and let's see if that gives us any kind of performance decrease. So we'll load up our speed disk utility here. Uh, we'll go ahead and just select the, uh, the new drive now, and we'll go over to Mirrored, choose that, and hit Start. And as you can see, we're you know, still about the same speed, so really no speed hit uh, for getting that redundancy. So, um, so this drive brings some choices. You can you know, run it in Scary RAID and get the maximum performance out of it, uh, or you can uh, do some kind of redundancy with it, give up some performance, give up some storage space, but be able to uh, have the peace of mind of having essentially a, a three copies of your data at all times. So you can maybe get maybe a three or four terabyte drive, I guess, you know, three, three, four terabyte drives and pop them into your array here and let it rip and see what happens. Now, one thing I don't have is three SSDs. I only have two and I use one of them to record. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can get a hold of a couple of SSDs before I have to send this back to CalDigit and see just how fast we can get this up to. They do say that it uh, runs at 850 megabytes per second on its max uh, performance. So if you're running with those uh, three SSDs and they can perform to that level, uh, it should be able to do that. But I have to say, I'm really impressed with this. If you know what you're doing, uh, even if you don't, you can kind of learn really quickly. Uh, this is a very fast drive array that kind of shows you the, the potential of Thunderbolt after all of these years waiting for some really high performance devices. Uh, this one's affordable. Uh, you can put it on your desk and get some uh, really awesome speed for really high end applications at a pretty reasonable price. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this. I will recommend it. And it is the CalDigit Thunderbolt drive array. And this is Lon Sivan. Thanks for watching.